Here's something you probably didn't know. Overheating your phone can permanently mess it up. Let's take a look at why your phone can overheat and a few crazy solutions we tested that you can use to keep it cool. I'm Alex from Speedify, where we help millions of people get secure internet on their phones and computers. And over the past year, we've really tested the limits of phone heating and cooling. So first off, what happens when your phone overheats? Your battery can get really hot, reaching temperatures of over 110 degrees Fahrenheit iPhones are specified for a range of 32 Fahrenheit to 95 Fahrenheit, zero to 40 C. If it goes outside that range, it can hurt your phone's performance, cause it to shut off, and it can slowly destroy your battery life if it happens enough times. So what causes your phone to overheat? This is mostly a summer problem, but as it gets hotter outside, it gets easier for things you do on the phone to push it over the edge into overheat. Running intense processes like mobile games or streaming live video can run off the temperature. Charging your phone with a fast charger or a wireless charger can also really heat up your battery, especially if you leave it plugged in overnight or under a little pillow. We recommend using a lower wattage charger if you leave your phone charging overnight. And last but not least, using or leaving your phone in the hot sun or in your car in the hot sun is a surefire way to cook your phone. So if you're IRL streaming outside in the summer like we are, the combo of hot weather and intense usage will kill your phone pretty quickly if you don't have a solution to keep it cool. When your phone gets hot, do not put it in the freezer to cool it off. This can cause condensation to form on the phone. So how do we keep our phones cool? We've tried a bunch of different things. One, we tried the cooling patches, the mobile phone cooling patches from Amazon. You know, they start off cool, but they made the phone sticky and wet. And as time went on, and they warmed up. They ended up not being effective enough to cool the phone in the hot sun. Two, tiny umbrellas. This hilarious solution introduced to us by IRL streamer You Were Found actually does a decent job of keeping your phone out of the sun and cool. But if the air is hot enough, it can still overheat. It's not perfect, but it mostly works. If you don't mind looking a little funny. Finally, the Razer Phone Cooler Chrome. I just have to say off the bat, I am not sponsored by these people. This is just my favorite device for keeping a phone cool. It's the best and most reliable solution we've found. It snaps on the back of your phone and it needs power, either by plugging into your phone, which uses your phone's USB port, so it makes it harder to use external mics or battery, or you carry another battery pack with you to, to power just it. And I have to say, it is noisy. I'll bring close the microphone. You guys can probably hear it. So if you're using stream, you want to use an external microphone, you know, mic the person you're talking to. It's a little heavy, a little clunky, you got this extra wire, but it really cools down the phone by a lot. We, we were able to walk around and stream you know, in the Philadelphia sunshine and summer on really hot days in the 90s and not have anything go wrong. So if you need to keep your phone cool, this is what I recommend, the Razer Phone Cooler Chroma. Let us know in the comments if we missed anything, what works best for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.